This is a tutorial to quickly show you how to create illustrator brushes. Now, I'm using CS5, same brush, CS6, etc. Also PS, PC and also Mac. Now, you can find many uh, illustrator brushes on the web. You can also find many on the graphicextras.com site. And there's the uh, location for many brushes, as well as tutorials and also lots and lots of information about illustrator brushes and also other videos. Right, now I'm just going to quickly create a path in Illustrator. And I'm just going to quickly get rid of that stroke. So I'm just going to create a basic circle. And it's currently pink. So I'm just going to drag that over to the brushes. Now, if the brushes palette isn't uh, visible, you can find it in the window menu. So brushes there. So now drag that over to the brushes palette pen, and you can then create a new brush now you can uh, apply it as a scatter brush art brush or pattern brush so i'm just going to go with the first one which is scatter brush click ok now there's a number of options uh, there's the size spacing scatter and rotation also obviously there's the various settings form so you can set that maybe to a smaller size or a larger size also give it a name of course also you can set whether it's a fixed size or random size also you can if you've got an art pad or other tools you can also set the pressure stylus wheel tilt etc and you can do that for all the others as well as the colorization for the path so it doesn't have to just be pink it could also be changed by the stroke color so if you set the stroke color to say green it will give a green tip. right click ok at that point now the brush is created you can actually see the brush appear in the brushes palette now it's not saved at this point now if you want to save the brushes palette there is actually go to the save brush library personally i've never really liked that save brush library i've had more problems with it uh, so i normally try and save it as a file file save that's probably the easiest way right so next thing once you've done that obviously you can uh, change it so i'm just going to apply the brush and I'm just going to use the brush tool there and so I just apply that and you will just see obviously here four individual dots not very exciting I agree but uh, of course you could apply any type of pass so multiple paths and anything else so I'm just going to double click on that while it's selected and now I'm going to change the size reduce the size down and so you'll see the actual size of the be reduced spacing can change that so it makes it a bit uh, smaller of course the change the size again so you can just play around with that and make a variety of different and of course click ok at that point you can save that now of course you could just create multiple ones of these uh, dot brushes if you wish but of course you can create more complicated brushes if you wish as well click ok at that point apply stroke okay. Now you can also go and just create a slightly more complicated one than that. So just going to put black there. And so I'm going to have a shadow to one of these brushes now. So, so there's a two pass. You can drag that over. Again, scatter brush, click OK. And I can then obviously set the size. But you can also apply. The brush is two pass as well so i'm just going to create this path and just select it here scatter so you will see the, the actual brush applied at this point now double click again so bring up the options and you can change the size as well as the spacing so you can just create them all the way around also you can change the scatter so obviously just forces the scatter forces the pass outwards obviously it's all fixed there's no so you can actually put them inside now yeah, so you can actually apply them inside of course you can also randomize it so the actual random so you can basically fill the entire path with the individual dots so i just decrease the size so you can see even more of them from the spacing you can actually fill the, the side change the size actually at the in the edit field you don't actually have to use the slider so obviously it can only go down to about 13 10 so uh, 
So you can actually put in two if you wish. So you can get even more. So you can just fill the whole thing with. And again, you can do the same with size as well. Click OK. It'll come up with the same thing. Right. You can also modify the uh, size via the stroke settings. So you can actually reduce them just down to say 0 0.25. And you can get very very fine small little dots there or you can increase the size say five point just fill it up completely with those designs now remove that so you can do that and you can also apply it to text and use the appearance palette to uh, apply make very very complicated designs using the brushes now again like i say you can find many more tutorials as well as uh, brushes and free samplers. You can also find many free samplers on the Graphic Extra site. So graphic Extra slash product slash AI brush dot HTM. Thank you.